They say that magic is just technology that we don't understand yet. But no matter how powerful Iron Man becomes, or no matter how advanced his tech is, still no match for the gods. And today, well, Iron Man is going to get a first-hand, up-close and personal experience of just what it feels like to be truly powerless. During the Fear Itself event, the Asgardian God of Fear was sending magical hammers raining down on Earth, and everyone who touched them was transformed into a servant of the God. And Grey Gargoyle with the Hammer of Moth just managed to transform Paris into stone. Absolutely appalled and shattered by the tragedy, Iron Man couldn't pretend to understand why Odin could let this happen. He had seen so many people crying out and asking God for help. The gods had done nothing, and he couldn't shake that memory. It kept playing through his mind over and over again. And so if the gods wouldn't save people, he would. He would become their helper and savior because he couldn't stand to see people grieving or in trouble. When who else would show up but Odin himself? Odin came to see Stark while he was sitting alone after Thor's death, telling Tony that he should be there for the last rituals of Thor at his funeral. Tony refused, saying that he had too much work to do and that Thor would understand. But Iron Man couldn't hold it in. He was furious at Odin, calling him a monster, all because Odin could have saved Paris, but didn't. And Iron Man was so angry that he actually attacked Odin, hitting him with an energy beam, and it didn't affect Odin at all. Odin then easily overpowered Iron Man, made it clear that he wasn't impressed with Tony's power. Odin is so much more powerful than Tony can even imagine. He's seen countless souls be born and die. He's seen worlds be destroyed and reborn in an endless cycle thousands and thousands of times. Odin said beliefs and faith are meaningless, but Iron Man needs to understand the scale that Odin works at. And he grabbed Tony by the face and showed him just a quick glimpse of the universe making Tony increasingly aware of just how tiny he truly is and how little the world actually revolves around him. And just as a gesture of goodwill with a pink flash of light, Odin turned everything back to normal in Paris. So there we have it, that's our story for today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.